black and white network fans. We are back with another video and we warned you guys, we warned you guys that they were coming for your children. Your children are vulnerable. That is why they're coming after your children. This is why Ron DeSantis created the parental rights and education bill, which is now law in Florida. They're coming for your kids. They're not even hiding it anymore. I saw this a few minutes ago. This actually came out yesterday. I didn't, didn't even realize it. I was furious. They should not be doing this to children, but they're doing it in New Jersey. Folks, check this out. New Jersey first graders to learn about gender identity in new sex ed lessons. First graders first. This has happened to first graders, folks. First graders can't even read and they're going to be teaching them about this stuff. We warned you guys they're coming for your children and folks, this is worse than what you think. This is absolutely worse than what you think, folks. Let's read this. This is outrageous here. Plan sets education lessons for first graders in New Jersey will, in, will include discussions on, of uh, gender identity, outraging some parents and Republican politicians, including potential presidential candidate and former Governor Chris Christie. A 30 minute lesson called Pink, Blue and Purple aims to teach the six year olds to define gender, gender identity and gender role stereotypes. Fox News reported Friday. It also includes instructions for teachers to tell students that their gender identity is up to them. According to materials reportedly distributed to parents at a February 22nd meeting of the Westfield Board of Education and posted online, they're trying to confuse these children, folks. This should really, really outrage parents out there. We warned you about this. We warned you. Check this out. Quote, you might feel like you're a boy, even if you have uh, body parts that some people might tell you are girl parts. The lesson plan says you might feel like you're a girl, even if you have body parts that some people might tell you are a boy parts. And you might feel. And you might not feel like you're a boy or a girl, but you're a little bit of both. No matter how you feel, you're perfectly normal. They're trying to confuse these children, folks. This is dangerous stuff. If you're out there in New Jersey, pull your kids out of public schools. The public school system has failed. Government run education has failed. I can't believe this is actually allowed to happen in New Jersey. The people in New Jersey should be outraged by this. How do we let this happen? How? A lesson plan for second graders titled Understanding Our Bodies includes an illustrated discussion of human genitals so kids as young as seven can use medically accurate names for their private parts. Quote, tell students, there are some body parts that mostly just girls have and some parts that mostly just boys have. It says a note to teachers also says being a boy or a girl doesn't mean you have uh, those parts, but for most people, this is how their bodies are. See, this is um, going against biology right here. This is going against science. They're lying to the children here. They're going to confuse them. The materials emerged amid controversy over a law signed last month by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis that bans the discussion of gender identity in kindergarten through third grade, which critics deride as don't say gay. That is a lie. It's not called that. This is actually a parental rights bill. But I guess, you know, according to what's going on in New Jersey, the parents don't have a say. It goes on. They're part of a broader K through 12 health and sex education curriculum adopted by the New Jersey Board of Education in 2020 that goes into effect in September. Quote, I am honestly appalled at this curriculum. Maria de Mayo Esposito, a mother of two from Howe, told the Asbury uh, Park Press. Quote, I'm debating whether to place my child in a private school if I can afford it. Is this curriculum really necessary? Children need to stay children. Their innocence is beautiful, and I do not want their little minds filled with this very adult topic. Well, pull your kids out of this. 
Folks, any politician that is against that is against school choice, you need not to even vote for them. Republican, Democrat, whatever, because this is proof that government education is failing right here. They're coming after your children. Parents are able to opt out of having their kids take part in the lessons. But Paula McCarthy, Mamana of Jackson, who said the curriculum makes me sick, said that said that move would be stigmatizing. My granddaughter is going to be entering eighth grade. If she opts out of class, she's going to be looked at by her peers in a different manner. She may be bullied or harassed, and I don't agree with a child being targeted because of family moral issues. Pull her out the school. Pull her out the school completely. I would suggest homeschooling if you can. Parents are going to have to fight back. This is definitely far left agenda being pushed on these children. This should actually be abolished right here. This is just outrageous that this is happening. We warned you guys. We warned you that they were coming for your children. And these uh, woke leftists out there, they want to do this. They want to confuse your children. That's why they don't want to call uh, pregnant women, pregnant women. They, they want to call them birthing people, chest feeders, feeders instead of uh, breast feeders. This woke agenda is going to destroy your children. Take a stand, pull them out of these government run education schools, the, the government education system that has failed you. This is outrageous here, folks. Completely outrageous. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. I, I can't believe I'm making this video. I can't believe I'm making this. This is ridiculous. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.